Hi everyone, this is your teacher Joy. Today we're going to have multiplication of fractions and mixed numbers. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated with lessons in English, math, algebra, writing, and other educational videos for children and other teachers. So, see you around! Now, let's start with multiplying proper fractions. What is a proper fraction, by the way? A proper fraction has a numerator which is less than its denominator. Example, 3 fourths. So, as you can see, 3 is less than 4. So, this is an example of a proper fraction. So, how do we multiply proper fractions? Step 1, multiply the numerators. So, 3 times 5 is 15. Next, multiply the denominators. 4 times 6 is 24. Step 3, simplify the fraction if needed. Can you still reduce that to its lowest term? Yes, if you want to know more about simplification of fractions, please visit the link above. So, what's the greatest count factor of 15 and 24? You can divide by 3. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So, this is now the final answer. Another 2 ninths times 1 fourth. Okay? So, multiply the numerators. 2 times 1 is 2. 9 times 4 is 36. Can you simplify this fraction? Yes. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 36 divided by 2 is 80. So this is now the final answer. Sometimes you may also cancel. Example, 2, 8, and 4, 6. You can only cancel out diagonally, meaning 2 and 6 lang ang pwede mong i-cancel out. So what can you divide by 2 and 6? 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Another pair, 4 and 8. Okay, this common factor is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now it's easier to multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Can you simplify this fraction? Not anymore, so this is now the final answer. But you cannot cancel all the time. Example, 5, 6 times 1 tenth. What is the only pair that you can cancel out? Can you cancel out 1 and 6? No. So, 5 and 10 lang ang pwede cancel. What can you divide? 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now, let's multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times 2 is 12. Can you still simplify this fraction? Not anymore. So, we have the final answer. How about if we multiply mixed numbers? A mixed number is a combination of a whole number in a fraction. Example, 2 and 1 fourth. So, this is an example of a mixed number. How do we multiply this pair? Okay. First step, you have to change this into its improper form. How? Just copy the denominator and then multiply 4 times 2, 8 plus 1 is 9. This is also a mixed number, so we have to change it first into its improper form. So, copy the denominator. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Okay, so we now proceed to multiplication. 9 times 3 is 27. 4 times 2 is 8. 
Now, in the high school department, I think they consider this answer. But in the elementary, we will still simplify this by changing it to its mixed form. Because this is an improper fraction. Again, what is an improper fraction? The numerator is greater than its denominator. So 27 over 8. Let's do the shortcut. Or just copy the denominator, 8. In your mind, 27 divided by 8 is 3, right? And the remainder is 3. How do you check if your answer is correct? Now, let's multiply. 8 times 3, 24. And then add plus 3, 27. If you arrive at 27, then your answer is correct. 3 and 3, 8. Okay? How about if the other one is not a mixed number? It's a combination of a mixed number and a proper fraction. Example. So we have 8 and 1 half times 4, 6. So ito lang ang ito change mo to its improper form because this is already a proper fraction. Okay, so copy the denominator, 2, 2 times 8, 16 plus 1 is 70. Next, just copy the proper fraction. 4, 6. Meron ba tayong pwede i-cancel out dyan? Can we cancel out 17 and 6? No. How about 2 and 4? Yes. So what can you divide by each of them? 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. But let me tell you, if you are not so familiar with reducing or simplification of fraction, huwag na ninyo i-cancel out. Just do the long cut na lang, okay? Para okay lang naman pag long cut, okay lang naman pag short cut. 17 times 2 is 34. 1 times 6 is 6. Again, our answer is an improper fraction. So we have to change it into its mixed form. Just copy the denominator, 6. How many 6 are there in 34? We have 5. And the remainder is 4. Now, you can see here that 4, 6 can still be reduced to its lowest term. Why? Because they are both even numbers and they still have a greatest common factor other than 1. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, we have now the final answer. 5 and 2 thirds. For those who are already masters when it comes to reducing fractions, you may also do this one. Just reduce immediately, or just simplify immediately. So this is one half, right? Five times is also one half. So let's now multiply. One times one, one, two times two is four. So we have now the final answer. Let me remind you, this is not translation, okay? Sabi ko sa inyo, huwag niyong gawin yung shortcut kapag hindi pa kayo masyadong master. Okay? Go to long cut muna. Because in maths, you know, we have long cut and short cut. Parang, parang ano yan eh? Parang destination rin yan eh. Makakarating ka sa isang lugar through a shortcut or through a long cut. Okay lang naman. Pare-pareho rin naman yung destination. Okay? Another example. 6, 12 times... Two is. Okay, as fast as you can, simplify. 6 12 is 1 half. 2 8 is 1 fourth. Let's multiply. 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 4, 8. So we have 1 8. Before I give you the test, let's have a recap. How do you multiply proper fractions again? Just multiply the numerators 
and then the denominators, and then simplify if needed. And for mixed numbers, change first the mixed number into its improper fraction, and then proceed to the different steps. Now, let me test if you have understood the lesson. Find the product of each, simplify if needed. You may pause the video and then come back later for the solutions and answer. Now, let's check your answers. Multiply the numerators, 2 times 5 is 10, 6 times 7 is 42. Can you reduce that one to its lowest term? Yes. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 42 divided by 2 is 21. Can you still simplify that fraction? Not anymore. I hope that you also got 5 over 21. Now, number 2. What is the first step again? Change it into its improper fraction. So, 3. 3 times 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Times. Copy the denominator. 2. 2 times 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, let's do the long cut muna. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. If this happens, you see here that if you're going to divide 12 by 6, you will get a whole number. Therefore, 12 divided by 6 is 2. This is now the final answer. Next, we have number 3. This is the only mixed number, so that will be the only one to be changed. Copy. 8 times 1, 8 plus 4 is 12. Times. Just copy the proper fraction. Okay, wala tayong pwede cancel out yan. 12 times 3 is 36. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay. What can you divide? 4, right? 36 divided by 4 is 9. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 9 tenths. Next, how about if uh, we do cancellation? Hey, 12 and 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. How about 2 and 24? 2 divided by 2 is 1. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now let's proceed to multiplication. 2 times 1 is 2. 12 times 1 is 12. Or 1, 6. And final, 3 and a half times 1 and 1 third. They are both mixed numbers, so let's change them to improper fraction. Copy. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7 times, copy, 3 times 1, 3 plus 1, 4, multiply, 7 times 4 is 28, over 6. Now change that into its mixed form. How many 6 are there in 28? We have 4. And remainder is 4. But you can still simplify the fraction. Can you simplify 4 and 4, 6? Yes. 4, 4 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we have 4 and 2 thirds. So that's it for today. I hope that I will see you again in my next videos. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Goodbye, God bless, and keep safe.